Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through problem 25. And uh, problem 25 gives us an improper integral. Um, and so we would uh, start by rewriting uh, the integral as the limit as b goes to infinity of 1 to b. And then it's x e to the negative x squared dx. Now, um, we need to use uh, substitution to solve this integral we see. So we will make the substitution u equals negative x squared. And if we do that, uh, just working on the integral and not worrying about the limits for now, the integral will turn into um, x times e to the u. And now we need to solve for dx uh, from du. So we know if u equals that, the du is going to equal a negative x dx, negative 2x dx, sorry about that. So du over negative 2x is going to equal dx. So by placing du over negative 2x in place of dx, here, we're going to write over here that uh, dx equals du over negative 2x. How convenient for us that this x and that x cancel if you've seen my u substitution videos, you know that this happens all the time. So e to the u, um, negative one half, du is what we have to integrate. And this has a simple integral, negative one half, e to the u plus c. Now we're evaluating ours, so we don't need to worry about the plus c. And now that I've gotten this far, um, I was careful not to write my limits because if I had written one to be here without changing my limits, then that would not be correct because I've changed my variable into a u. So that's why I haven't written it up to this point. But now that I'm ready to evaluate, I'm gonna bring back my limits and I'm gonna call back on what I said was u, which is negative x squared. So I'm gonna say limit is x goes to, or rather b goes to infinity of the integral of this through my hard labor I found out is that with that substitution of u equaling negative x squared. So the integral um, without the limits must be this guy, which is equal to negative a half e to the negative x squared. Once we recall that u is negative x squared, you could take the derivative of this to check that you in fact get this um, as a derivative. But that's right. So now we have negative one half e to the negative x squared evaluated at one and b. Got it, so this is going to say the limit as b goes to infinity, well oh, that doesn't look like a b, as b goes to infinity, that's better, of negative a half, and I'm going to factor out the negative a half, and it's going to say um, one over e to the x squared evaluated at one and b. Doesn't matter if I multiply before or after by the uh, negative one half, but fine limit is b goes to infinity that says negative a half and then times uh, one over e to the b squared minus one over e to the one squared got it and so this is going to say limit is b goes to infinity of negative a half of one over e to the b squared minus one over e. And it is clear that as b goes to infinity, this thing here goes to zero. So I'm gonna get negative one half times zero, which is zero. And then I'm going to get negative one half times uh, negative one over e, and I'm going to get one over two e positive. One over, oh no, geez, I can't write two. 1 over 2e, how about that? And 1 over 2e is this answer choice, but we do it in red traditionally, so let's do that. Take care.